Hope you are too. So let's start out by singing our opening song. I'm going to give you a couple of hints about what we're going to talk about this morning in our opening song. So sing with me, okay? If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. Okay, here's a hint. If you'd like to read a book, growl like a bear. Rawr. If you'd like to read a book, growl like a bear. Rawr. Are you growling? If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, growl like a bear. Rawr. Okay, here's another hint. If you'd like to hibernate, yawn real loud. If you'd like to hibernate, yawn real loud. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, yawn real loud. Now don't go to sleep. It's not time to hibernate yet. We're going to be talking this morning about something that really goes along with the weather we're having this morning, and that is animals getting ready for winter. Have you noticed that the weather is changing? It seems like just a few weeks ago it was sunny and warm and the leaves were colorful on the trees. Now the leaves have fallen down and what else is falling down this morning? Do you have snow falling down at your house? Well, I have a nice book this morning to read called Time to Sleep. Now, nobody go to sleep while we're reading this. Only this guy gets to go to sleep. It's called Time to Go to Sleep, and it's written by Denise Fleming. She writes books with beautiful, bright pictures. Can you tell what animal that is on the cover? Can you see it? Time to go to sleep. This book was actually signed by the author for us. She must have visited us. Time to sleep. <clears throat> Bear sniffed once. She sniffed twice. I smell winter in the air, said Bear. It is time to crawl into my cave and sleep. But first, I must tell Snail. Snail was slowly slithering up one leaf and down another. Snail, rumbled Bear, winter is in the air. It is time to seal your shell and sleep. Snail stopped slithering. You are right, Bear, said Snail. This morning there was frost on the grass. It is time to sleep. But first, I must tell Skunk. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Skunk was busy digging grubs. Skunk, winter is on its way, said Snail. It is time for you to curl up in your den and sleep. Skunk looked up. The leaves on the trees were yellow and red. All right, said Skunk, I will sleep, but first I must tell Turtle. Turtle was off on a ramble. Stop, Turtle, cried Skunk. I have news. Winter is on its way. Turtle blinked. Winter? Yes, winter, said Skunk. It is time for you to dig down deep and sleep. The days have been growing shorter, muddled Turtle. Turtle, excuse me. It is time to sleep, but first, I must tell Woodchuck. Turtle trudged up Woodchuck's hill. Woodchuck, called Turtle, winter is on its way. It's time for you to bury down and sleep. Thank goodness, said Woodchuck with a sigh. 
<gasps> my skin is so tight I could not eat another bite. I am ready to sleep. But first, I must tell Ladybug. Ladybug was perched high on a branch in a maple tree. Ladybug, called Woodchuck, winter is on its way. Ladybug flew over Woodchuck's head. The leaves are falling from the trees, said Woodchuck. It is time for you to slip under a log and sleep. All right, said Ladybug. But first, I must tell Bear. Bear was softly snoring in her cave. Bear, cried Ladybug, wake up, wake up. Bear grumbled and rolled over. The sky is full of geese honking goodbye, cried Ladybug. Winter is on its way, Bear. Bear opened one eye. Then she opened the other eye. What, growled Bear. It is time to crawl into your cave and sleep, said Ladybug. Ladybug, grumbled Bear, I am in my cave. I was asleep. Oh dear, said Ladybug. I am so sorry, Bear. Please go back to sleep. Bear rolled over and closed her eyes. Ladybug slipped under a log nearby. I can barely see her right there. Good night, Bug, said Bear. Good night, Bear, said Ladybug. Good night, Woodchuck. Good night, Turtle. Good night, Skunk. Good night, Snail. Good night, everyone. See you in the spring. That's the end. That was a book about animals that were getting ready to go to sleep in the winter. And that's called hibernate or hibernation. They eat lots of food and then they go to sleep. I have a finger play I'd like to show you that is about a bear. So I'm going to show you one time and then you do it together with me, okay? All right, so here is a cave. Make a fist. Here's a cave. Inside is a bear. Here, let's, here's our bear. Let's stick our bear inside the cave. Now he comes out to get some fresh air. Here he comes. He stays out all summer in sunshine and heat. He hunts in the forest for berries to eat. But when snow starts to fall, he hurries inside his warm little cave and there he will hide. Snow covers the cave like a fluffy white rug. Inside the bear sleeps, all cozy and snug. See my little bear is sleeping in my cave? All right, let's try it together, okay? I'm gonna do it with my other hand, see if that works better. Get your hand out, okay, make a fist. Here is a cave. Here's my bear, let's put him inside. Inside is a bear. Now he comes out to get some fresh air. He stays out all summer in sunshine and heat. He hunts in the forest for berries to eat. When snow starts to fall, he hurries inside his warm little cave and there he will hide. Snow covers the cave like a fluffy white rug. Inside, the bear sleeps all cozy and snug. Can you hear your bear sleeping in there? He's snoring. So that, that finger play is right here on your kit paper and you can practice that and do it with mom or dad or whoever you've got there. So I also know a song about a bear. This is about a big black bear and he's sleeping in a cave and it goes like this. It goes, 
Big black bear, oh big black bear is sleeping in a cave. Big black bear, oh big black bear is sleeping in a cave. Please be very quiet, oh so very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he'll get very mad. Rawr. I wouldn't want to wake up a sleeping bear, would you? Will you try it together with me? Let's do it again. Big black bear, a big black bear is sleeping in a cave. Big black bear, a big black bear is sleeping in a cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he'll get very mad. Rawr. Let me hear your growl. Make it really loud and mad. Rawr. Good job. Pretty good growl for a bear. Okay, we have another story about another animal who's getting ready for winter. But this is not a bear, is it? This is called The Busy Little Squirrel and it's by Nancy Tafuri. We'll see how busy that squirrel is. Look at the picture or the color here. It almost looks like the color of fall leaves. The busy little squirrel. Leaves were falling. The air was getting cold. It was time for squirrel to get ready for winter. Squeak, squeak, said mouse. Will you nibble a pumpkin with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. Sweet, sweet, said Bird. Will you rest on a branch with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. Look, he's taking the seeds from a bird feeder and look who's trying to get on the bird feeder, a little chickadee, but he can't get on there because squirrel is eating the seeds. Croak, croak, said frog. Will you hop rocks with us? But squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. said Cat. Will you lie in the sun with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. Can you tell what he's doing? See? Woof! Woof! said Dog. Will you run in the field with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. He's trying to pull off an ear of corn, it looks like. Wow, that's a big thing for a squirrel. Woo, 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 called Owl. Will you watch the moon with us? But Squirrel couldn't. Can you see what's over here? He was fast asleep. You see what he's put in his den? He has filled his den full of fruit, berries, nuts, and even some corn in there. And now he has gone to sleep. Squirrels don't hibernate like bears do. They don't sleep all winter, but they do sleep more in the winter and it's harder to find food. Some of their food is still around, but there won't be much corn around or berries or fruit, so he has to hide that in his den and, and try to keep it so that he'll have something to eat in the winter time when food is a little bit more scarce. So that's another animal that's also getting ready for winter. All right, so I'm gonna turn this way 
And I'm going to suggest that we also have to get ready for winter. Can you see what I have up here? This is part of what's in your, in your kit paper. It's stapled to the back. And these are little uh, season cards. This one says winter clothing. It has a snowman on it. This one says summer clothing. It has a sunshine on it. So in your kit, you also have spring and fall. And I'll show you a little bit later how to play with those. But at this point, we're going to talk about how we, how we get ready for winter and how the seasons are different. So in winter time, like today, it's not quite winter, but we're in late fall, we're heading towards winter and we have snow. Do you think you would wear flip-flops today? Well, some people wear flip-flops all the time, but if you were gonna walk out in the snow, I don't think I would wear flip-flops. I think I would try to find my boots. That's what I did this morning. So in the winter time, you could have you could wear boots. That's one way we get ready for winter. But in the summertime, I could wear my flip-flops. I love wearing flip-flops in the summertime. Let's see, let's look at a couple other things. What time of year do you think you would wear mittens? Would you wear mittens in the winter or in the summer? I, I'd probably wear them in the winter. If you wear mittens in the summer, I want you to tell me you can type me something on Facebook or something and let me know you wear your mittens in the summer. That would be kind of odd. But would you wear your swimsuit in the winter? Well, maybe if you were going on a vacation to someplace really warm, but up here in Ohio, we usually wear our, our swimsuits in the summer, don't we? And how about a nice warm scarf? I would wear that in the winter time. I wish I had one of those today. Maybe. Maybe I can talk my mom into knitting me a nice warm scarf. Hmm, how about a pair of boys swim trunks? You could wear those in the bathtub, I suppose. Better hope the bathtub is warm. But if you were gonna wear them regularly, you'd probably wear them in the summer, wouldn't you? How about a warm hat? I would like to wear that today. How about a warm jacket? You'd get too sweaty if you wore that in the summer, wouldn't you? I would put that in winter time. Sunglasses. Now that's that's a tricky one because there's some things that we could we could wear in the winter and in the summer. On a day like today, I don't think I would need sunglasses, but sometimes in the winter time, I do need sunglasses when I'm driving. But most of the time, we wear our sunglasses in the summer, so we'll put them over there. And how about snow pants? I hope we get enough snow that you can make a snowman. I hope it keeps snowing for a while. I would wear those in the winter time when I go outside to play. And a sundress, eh, yeah, too cold for a day like today. And a sun hat, that would be nice for in the summer by the pool. So there you go, we have, the, we have ways that we prepare ourselves for the winter too. And a lot of it is getting the proper clothing uh, mom or dad might have said to you, let's see if your jacket fits from last year because we have to get ready. It's going to get cold soon. So those are ways that we get ready. Okay, I'm going to move this aside. And we'll come back to that in a few minutes. I have one more book that I wanted to read to you, and it's called Seasons. It's kind of a tiny book. It's called Seasons. It's a nature explorer's book. And look, there's a pair of sunglasses there. Get over here to where the book starts. Excuse me. What are seasons? There's four different pictures. This one has spring, summer, autumn, or sometimes we call that fall in winter. There are four seasons in the year. The weather is different in each season. And up here in the north, in Ohio, we have the privilege of really having a big difference between a lot of our seasons. Some people that live in the south, their difference isn't quite as no noticeable. Spring. In spring, the weather gets warmer after winter and new plants grow. 
those pretty flowers and all the sunshine of spring. New life. Babies are often born in the spring. That little duckling. Oops, that one doesn't want to turn. Summer fun. In summer, the sun shines. And we have fun outside. It's the time to grow. Plants and crops go best in, in the summer. This is a crop of wheat. There's the little grains of wheat. If the little red hen saw that, she would probably plant them. Autumn. In autumn, the leaves change color and fall to the ground. This happened here just a few weeks ago, didn't it? Look at the beautiful colors. Ready for winter. Some animals eat lots of food in autumn. Squirrels like to hide nuts to eat later, like we just read in our book. Winter. Winter is cold. Sometimes it snows. Plants and animals wait for spring to come again. The right clothes. That's what we were just talking about. We wear different clothes when it is sunny, rainy, or cold. When would you wear these things? We talked about a lot of that. I like these green polka dot boots. I would wear those when it was rainy outside in the spring so I could walk in the puddles. And there's a rain jacket. Maybe I'd wear that in the springtime too. And that is the end. That's all about the seasons. Okay, so I told you that we would come back and talk just a little bit about um, the, the cards that are in your, in your kit. So not only do you have the cards for winter and summer clothing, but you also have cards for spring clothing and fall clothing. Now, like I said, spring and fall can be a little bit more confusing because you might be able to wear some of these at all different times. For example, you might wear sneakers in summer and spring and in fall. You might wear like pants like this in many different seasons. So there's some of them that could be for either one. But you can play this game a couple, this is actually like a game. You can play this a couple of different ways. You could play it by yourself and you could put your card down on the table and you might say, hmm, pants, I might wear that in the spring or in the fall. If you're confused, there's a color around the edge of the little card and it's purple. And look, it matches to the purple on this one. So you can know they, they meant it to go with spring, even though I think it could go for fall too. Okay, so a raincoat, that might go for spring. So you can sit down and you can look at the cards and you can lay out your, your four um, big cards and see if you can match them up. But you could also play this with more than one person. Like say if you had some friends or sister, brother, whatever, then each person could get a card. Like you might get fall and I might get spring. And we would take all the cards, the little cards, and we would lay them upside down on the table. And we would mix them all around so nobody knows what they're gonna get. And so I might pick up a card and say, hmm, it's pants, it's purple. Hey, mine's purple, yeah, that goes with mine. And then you might pick up one and, oh, this one's good, it's a sweater and it goes for fall. But what if you picked up one that was purple, that was mine, that was rain boots for spring? Then maybe you put that one back or you could give it to me either way. And you could see how fast we could get our cards filled up. Or if you really wanted to compete, who got their card filled up? First, but that sometimes can have some bad feelings. So maybe just help each other fill the cards up. So wouldn't that be fun? I thought that was a fun game. That's definitely a game that I'm going to give to my grandkids because they're going to really enjoy that. So, well, I'm really glad that you joined us today. Now you know about bears and how they hibernate and squirrels and how they save food and us, how we get ready for winter because we get all the right clothing so that we can adapt to any kind of weather change we have. Well, I'm really glad you came today. 
And I hope you'll join me in singing the song about I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I hope that you will come again. I'm glad you came today. We sing it with me. I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I hope that you will come again. I'm glad you came today. Okay, have a great day. I'll see you next week.